We are in uh, the Webmin interface and we are preparing ourselves to set up the MySQL database. Uh, Moodle requires that you have a database running in the background. The database keeps track of the different classes and the information, the changes in the wikis and the blogs and student uh, user information, files, all those things. The database takes care of all those things and it's imperative that you have this set up properly in order for you to install Moodle properly. So in order to do this what we need to do is we're going to go over to our list of servers over here and as I scroll down on the list I see the MySQL database server which is right here MySQL, MY lowercase y SQL and I'm going to click that and let's focus back over here and it actually gives you a list of the MySQL databases and as you can see we currently do not have one for Moodle so what we are going to do is we are going to create a new database here and very simply where it says database name we're going to create the database you can call it whatever you like for simplicity's sake I will call mine Moodle database. Scroll over here and I will now click create and if you are successful you will see that the database has now been created. Now in order to write information to that database we have to create a user that can now write information to that database. So I'm going to go over here to user permissions and I'm going to create a new user. And the user we're going to call, we'll call this one Moodle, we'll call it Moodle user. I do recommend you give that Moodle user a password. And we're going to give this user rights to write to the local host database. Now the permissions, we want to give this user uh, complete control over the database. So we're going to set the first one here, the first field, and I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to press shift and select the last permission. So that now I have all these permissions selected once I have all the permissions selected I now can click save and as you see now I have a user that can now uh, access the local host databases so come down here and click save very important that you do that and now you have database and you have a user who can write to it and it is very important that you remember going back to user permissions here this username here because we will use that when we actually go next to install the Moodle operating system